Hi, today we're gonna paint this really fun tie-dye paintbrush holder. So let me show you what you have in your kit. You have your mason jar, you have black and white paint, and then you have five bright colors, orange, purple, teal, yellow, and green. You also have a paintbrush, a little quarter sponge, and a piece of twine. What you'll need from home is a bowl to put water in and a paper plate to um, use as a palette. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is coat the outside of the mason jar with white paint. And what this does is give something for your twine to stick to. So take your sponge and get it a little wet and wring it out and then dip it into the white paint. Now when we paint with a sponge, we wanna make it bounce up and down. We don't wanna brush it on because that creates some streaks in your, on your um, piece. We just wanna bounce it all over. Work pretty quickly to get the whole thing coated. So you want that paint to be pretty wet on there, all over. And then while it's still wet, we're gonna take the twine and wrap it around the piece. Just hold it in place with your thumb and then start wrapping it around kind of oddly. And it's okay to have these little strings in there. Actually, that's what we want. That is what makes it look like tie-dye. So once you have it all randomly wrapped around, hold both ends, and now we're gonna add a little bit more white paint all over that twine to help it stick. Keep holding the end. and adding white paint. Again, we really do want all those crazy strings to be laying across the paint. And then once you have that twine all coated with white paint, set this aside to dry. Okay, so once the shine is gone, then your uh, paint is dry enough for you to move on to the next step. So what you'll need now is your five bright colors. Now you can dip right out of these little cups if you want to, or um, sometimes when you're sponging, it is easier to pour those colors onto a paint palette um, so that you can uh, kind of spread it around. So I'm going to go ahead and pour mine onto a palette. I'm just going to do about little um, half dollar sized dollops of each color. Make sure to rinse all that white paint out of your sponge. Start with a clean sponge. And 
and just pick one of the colors and start sponging. So if you'll notice on our example, we just sponge the different colors in different sections to give it that tie-dye look. So I'll just start with a little bit of purple. Again, I'm gonna dip the edge of that sponge in like that and dab it around and pounce it on just right over the top of wherever that um, twine is. So I'm gonna do a little section here. Make sure to kind of get in between, but don't push the twine out of the way. Just kind of get in, in between and all around. You see, I'm kind of filling that in. So now I want to switch colors, so I'm going to rinse out all that purple and squeeze out the excess water. And I'm going to go on with my green and sponge that. And I'll start right up here and just go right to the edge of wherever you stopped with your purple. Kind of maybe wrap it around a little bit. There's no perfect lines in tie-dye, so I'll do like that. Now again, rinse really well and squeeze out all that excess water. So now I'm gonna go on and add a little bit of blue. And I'm gonna pop that right over here, working right up to the edge of where I have my green and my purple. thick coat on here. Now I'm going to move on and do some orange. So I'm going to rinse that out. And I'm going to squeeze it out really well. up some orange paint and I'm going to start right up here and go to the edge of my green and my blue. You overlap it a little bit and you'll get a little bit of a color blend there. So it's okay to over, overlap a little bit. When you do tie-dye on fabric, the colors tend to blend a little bit as well. All right, so I'm gonna rinse that out and I'm gonna move on and add some yellow. covered up. I'm going to set this aside to dry for just a few minutes and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when we peel off the twine. Okay, so it dries pretty quickly. You just want to wait for the shine to be gone. You don't want it to get super dry because then it's hard to peel it off. So find the end of your twine where you stopped. And pick that off and then we're going to start to Unwrap it and you'll reveal the white lines that make it look like tie-dye. And 
don't worry if you have some little strings left in your paint. Those are all going to burn off in the kiln. So hopefully you can see how that kind of has a really fun tie-dye effect all the way around. The last step is to paint the rim black like this to just give it some punch and then paint the inside black. So we're going to open up our black paint, get your paintbrush in. that rim black. Three solid coats, letting each one dry in between layers. Okay, once you get solid coverage around the whole thing. Set that aside and let it dry for a few minutes and come back and add a second and third coat. Once you finish your third coat, set that aside to dry for 24 hours and then bring it back to Color Me Mine to be overglazed and fired.